Simone and welcome back to my channel and I have a styling video for you guys today. So I'm going to talk about my top five or six. We might go for seven because you know I like the number seven. It's a godly number. Um, we're going to go with my top seven transitional pieces for spring. Hopefully they're in your wardrobe. If they're not, I'll link some easy pickups for you guys um, to go out and purchase. I have different varieties of options. This is for transitional. So this is not full on sandal, full on spring, summer. This is transitioning from winter, kind of like in this icky stage that we're in to spring and ways that you can update your wardrobe, easy outfit, um, fixer uppers, like something you can throw on with an outfit just to elevate it a lot. So I'm gonna talk about that and we will get started. So if you're interested in seeing the seven items that I think that are essential for spring and essential for a wardrobe boost from this dreary outfit rut place that we're in, sit back and stick around. So my name is Sydney. I run a blog called Southern Cheek Shopaholic where I focus on fashion, lifestyle, shopping, styling, um, just beauty, just anything that I feel or I'm into at that moment. I like say every time I start a video, I don't want to get boxed into something. I like a lot of different things. So I'm talking about styling today and I think I'm very good at putting together outfits and I get compliments a lot on my outfits. So I just want to give you guys my seven pieces that I think are essential for a transitional spring wardrobe. All the pieces will that are still available will be linked below. I shop from my closet, so a lot of these aren't available, but I will find similar pieces and pieces that I think that are viable and valuable to, to adding to your wardrobe, and I'll link those below. I'm also going to show pictures of items. Like I have a couple of things that I have over here that were on my closet that I need to update. So I'm gonna show pictures of the items that I'm considering purchasing as well. All my socials will be linked below. I don't know if I said that before. I run my blog from Instagram. So here's my Instagram handle here. You guys, please go follow me there. I post outfit pictures just daily. I post on my Instagram every day. So I love for you guys to follow me there. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I think that's it. I just have on a Rolling Stone t-shirt from H&M. It's old. Black jeans. My earrings were from Express. I love Express jewelry. My lipstick is Pat McGrath. And yeah, that's it. So let's get started. I'm going to stand up for this video to show these items. So yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, so it's so dreary outside, as you can see. Um, I'm in my office right now. This is kind of like my gallery wall. And I need one more picture to add here. I think I'm going to complete my little gallery wall. But anywho, um, so let's get started with the items. The first item that I feel that's essential to updating your spring wardrobe is a button down shirt or blouse. So I have two different options here. I have my stack of clothes here. The first option, I am very uh, extra eccentric. I don't know, <laughs> in my shopping. So I like different patterns and colors and so I would more go towards this button down shirt first to wear. It's like a silky top. It has different color patterns. I got this from Zara. I haven't worn it yet. Um, this was something that I bought to spruce up my spring wardrobe a couple of months ago during the sale. I think it's really cute. You can throw this on with jeans and put on a blazer over it. You put a vest over it. You put a trench coat over it, jean jacket, and you're good to go. At night, it gets cooler. During the day, it's pretty warm. You can roll your sleeves up. This is one option. The next option of the button-down shirt is just a more, and I got this from Target, and I haven't worn this one yet either. It's a more, I don't want to say basic. It's just a more plain, more classic option. So this is a striped button-down shirt. It's in the size extra large. It's from a new day. I think this is oversized. And it's just a stripe with a, um, sorry about that. So this is a more classic option. I got this from Target. It's from a new day. It's just a classic white button down. And I think it's really cute. Like I was saying before, it has a brown stripe with the pink. You can have a plain classic white button down. That would be a great option as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be any color to it all, but a, a button down a classic white shirt or printed button down shirt is number one 
for sprucing up your spring wardrobe. If you have one already, fine. I usually add a couple every year just to add a little variety to the ones that I already have. So yeah, a white button down or a black button down linen shirt are classics essentials in any wardrobe. The next thing I'm going to say is a blazer. So a linen blazer or some kind of blazer that's thinner. So we're transitioning from like wool blazers and thicker blazers. We're going into linen blazers now, blazers that aren't lined, thinner blazers and things of that sort. I have two that I absolutely love. I just purchased these. I wore this the other day at work and I'm going to put a picture here of my outfit. Um, this is a red buttoned down blazer. Well, not buttoned down, but a red blazer with buttons on each side. So it's like a double breasted kind of vibe. And it is a Balmain dupe because of the, see the red buttons, even like the bottom of it, it goes like a V shape. It's really, really nice. It has shoulder pads. This one I got in extra, in an XXL because they had the red available in XXL. The material is rayon, nylon, and spandex. I love the material. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like, like stretchy. It's not cheap. It's very like pliable. Like you can push up. I'm just going to show you real quick. The sleeves on it. It's not hot, even though it's lined, like it's thin. That's why I say it's a great, you see how easy I pushed up my sleeves and they stay up. And let's see if I can pan down. Yeah, and then this is the vibe. Like even with this, if I was gonna do this, it's a vibe. So anything you put this blazer over, like I wore it to work over a bodysuit, you can wear it over a t-shirt, you can wear it over a dress. Blazers are, because we're transitioning from coats, right? So we're using lighter outerwear pieces. So this is a great outerwear piece to add. I think it was like maybe $25. Like it wasn't that much. I got it from Walmart. I saw this girl on Instagram and she showed the blazer. She had a blue one, I think. I don't wear a lot of dark blue in my wardrobe. The red was more my speed. They had pink, they had denim. I'm going to purchase another one. I just don't know what color I'm going to purchase because... I, when I do go to work, I like a blazer. I like a blazer outside of work. I just like a blazer. Everything is better with a blazer. Um, and this um, YouTuber I follow named B. Jones Style, she says that everything is better with a blazer. And I agree. I love her channel, by the way. She thrifts a lot. I'll list her channel below, but you guys could check, should check her out. But yeah, it's so cute. And I got this color and I also got the cream i had to get the cream in a 2x and i'm gonna show you how that fits so this is the the double xl in regular size they didn't have the cream in the regular size for the red i'll just put this over here and so i had to get the cream in like a women's 2x they didn't have a 1x but it's just more oversized it's not like horrible and so this is like more like you still can push up the sleeves. This is more like an oversized vibe, like a casual oversized vibe. So very cute. I would never, ever button it. This is like the look I'm going for. So yeah, any type of blazer. It doesn't have to be this type of blazer with gold buttons or anything like that. It could be a plain Blazer, H&M has a lot of great ones. I will link those below. I have several of those. They have single and double breast if you don't want. And they have plain buttons, like just tortoise buttons, not like extra, or they just have buttons that match the color. So you don't have to go with gold buttons. I know gold buttons are for everybody. I love a gold button. And I just think that this is such a good blazer for the quality. It's a good weight. It has a good sheen to it. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this blazer. I love it. The next item of clothing I want to talk about is a vest. So we know it's getting warmer where you live might be more like in Florida or Texas where blazers, you might not transition to blazers. A vest is always a great option. It still has a tag on it, even though I wore it. I forgot to take it out. I got this from H&M probably around the fall time. 
and it is a blazer vest so there's no sleeves and it looks just like a blazer so i'll show you guys this here it buttons just with the one button it has pockets i didn't cut the little threads to make them functional because i want them to lay flat but yeah this is the vibe and i'll put a picture here of me wearing this blazer because it looks really really cute i'll put it over a leather shirt these are toppers outfit toppers that can go over anything dresses leather shirts shirts um i can put it over one of those um button up blouses um little thin summer sweaters t-shirts if i had a t-shirt that would match this like let's see this okay under this is a vibe with like a sneaker like a chunky sneaker is a vibe so the third piece i would say to get is a vest especially if you live in a warmer climate where you don't have like the transitional cooler at night warmer in the day if it goes straight from winter to heat i would suggest this because it's just like a outerwear piece without the sleeves and it's not thick it's thin it's great quality i love this so i'll try to find some other options it doesn't have to be this type of vest this is a blazer vest it could be any type of vest it could be a fringe vest it could be a jean vest but the jean vest can't be like a 90s jean vest so if i can find a cute modern jean vest or i'm gonna find some other vest options and link those below as well but this is my favorite option this is one that i would gravitate towards the next options or thing that i think and this is what i need to purchase more of is a trench coat or another version so i got this trench coat from target last year or the year before i got it from a new day this is in an xxl there's nothing wrong with this trench coat except the fact that it wrinkles so easily and that's the only thing that i don't like about it but other than that I mean, I love the tone of it. I'll show y'all. I love the tone of it. It's like a pinky brown mauve color. Like, it's really, really cute. It has a belt that ties here. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. I just want a better quality trench coat. And I saw one on Mango, and I'll show you guys here. So, I think I'm going to get this trench coat. There's actually two trench coat. There's actually two that I'm looking at. There's one with the hood which is great because I wear my hair. My hair is natural, but I get it blown out. So a hood was best for me because around this time of the year, as you can see now, it rains a lot and I want to preserve my hair. So I'm leaning towards one with the hood, but the other one is a Lysel fabric, which is like that blazer. So it's like a silky, not wrinkly. This is more cotton. So it wrinkles so easily, but the other one is like a it's a vibe. If you can see it, it's so, it looks like it's just a great quality. It's from Mango. So I think I'm going to get that one. But yeah, the next piece is a trench coat. So you're going to trade in your coats for blazers and trench coats. This trench coat is very thin. Um, it's not lined. So it's good to throw over an outfit. Like if you wear this in like a white t-shirt and like joggers or this white t-shirt, leggings, tennis shoes, this instantly elevates your outfit. It's great for travel if you want to throw it on. It's great for like a weekend if you're going shopping on a Saturday, running errands. You know how we do our Starbucks, our TJ Maxx, our Home Goods, our Target. This white t-shirt, leggings, and some kind of um, tennis shoe, low fur flat is a great option. So a trench coat is number four. I think that's number four. It's number four. So number five would be a skirt. So some kind of satin skirt. The one that I'm showing right now is one that I got. I know it still has the tags. It's one that I got from the Gabrielle Union collection with um, New York and Company like two years ago. I think this is like during the pandemic or pre-pandemic. It's so cute. I just never had a chance to wear it because we went through a period of two years where we didn't go anywhere really. So I got this in a size XXL and it's really cute. So it's like a midi skirt. And it has gathering the front. I don't think you can wear the gathering to the side. No, it has to be to the front. And I think it's really, really pretty. It's really pretty. Um, so, yeah. Some type of satin skirt. It doesn't have to be this satin skirt. Because y'all know I like 
bright colors. I like a lot of color. Um, and then I'll go black, Gemini. <laughs> so, but, cause I like black too. I like color and all that. It depends on my mood. But today I was feeling color, so I picked this out. But yeah, I have black ones. I have lime ones. I have a red one. A satin skirt can elevate any out any spring outfit. Great transitional piece because you can wear a satin shirt and a long silky button up shirt. So that's two spring items. You can wear a satin skirt and just a denim shirt. If you wanna like dress it down to dress it up, you can wear like a silky silk shirt. You can wear a t-shirt with a satin skirt. I like the juxtaposition of that because the t-shirt says I'm relaxed, but the bottom says I'm not. So I mostly wore satin skirts with like t-shirts and dress it down, throw on sneakers, throw on your trench coat. So you can replace your leggings and trench coat with satin skirt, trench coat, t-shirt and sneakers. Great Saturday outfit, great um, piece to like elevate your wardrobe like you tried, but you really didn't. There are all different price points. So you can get one like I got from New York and Company that's more of a higher price point. Or I have several from Boohoo, I have several from Target several from ASOS. So you can get them at all different price points and each one does the trick. So the next item that I'm, I wanted to talk about was was a satin. Like I talk, I'm trying not to talk fast, <laughs> but in not trying not to talk fast, I'm talking faster. And I had an ice caramel macchiato from Starbucks with espresso. So <sighs> anyway, so yeah, any type of price point, satin skirt, Wardrobe elevator. The next item I want to talk about is a cardigan. So we all know cardigans are great transitional pieces from winter to spring because it's still cool sometimes. If you work inside an office, it's cold. In my house, it gets drafty. I work from home, but it still gets drafty. I could throw on a cardigan. Um, the one that I'm showing is one that I got from Shein. I think it's so super cute. It's like a crochet looking cardigan. To me, it looks very expensive and it's a different color, just like a rainbow color. So this is my, um, my, I guess, idea in wearing this. I'm going to wear this, probably a white or red bodysuit, jeans and like my Gucci sneakers or some kind of like sneaker and have like a cool vibe. So it's like I tried, but I really didn't. That's always the goal. This is a lot of different color. You don't have to do anything else once you throw this on. So I would wear something basic under it. So probably like a white, a black or a red bodysuit and then jeans and then whatever tennis shoe you wanna wear. You can wear a cardigan over, you can wear this over a black um, slip dress. You can wear it over a black dress. You can wear it over a denim skirt, denim shorts with a t-shirt would be cute with this. So my trusty New York t-shirt again. So t-shirt, this, and denim shorts would be really, really cute. Um, so that's a great idea. So a cardigan. Also, this is like honorable mention, but some kind of like t-shirt and a nice quality t-shirt. Like today I have on the Rolling Stones one from H&M. You guys know I love getting t-shirts from H&M. The t-shirts are great quality. They're not that expensive. Um, you can wear them over and over and over again, and they're great transitional pieces from one season to the next. This one just has New York on it, but I can wear this under a blazer. I can wear it under the vest. I can wear this under the cardigan. So this is the most transitional piece of them all because you can wear it with, you can wear it under a trench coat, trench coat, this, leggings, skirt, trench coat, this, satin skirt, sneaker. So it's like all these pieces are interchangeable. You can't be afraid to try different things. That's all, fashion is fun. Like don't take it too seriously. Wear what you feel and yeah, that's it. So all of these pieces can transition and they all go together and that's it on this t-shirt. The next to last item, I have one more thing, well two more things, are jeans. So we're going from leather pants, to leather leggings, leggings. That's what I wore a lot in the winter to denim. If you're going in the office, I would suggest a nice dark denim with no distressing. These are from Good American. They have no distressing. Um, I love Good American jeans. These are the good legs. I like the good legs better than the good waist. 
and they're just a skinny jean. I like skinny jeans. I do have a several pair of wide leg jeans, but I like wide leg jeans and bootcut jeans with distressing. I don't like them plain. It's just a personal preference of mine. So skinny jeans, if I'm wearing a plain jean for work, it would have to be a skinny jean. I love good American jeans because they have no kind of advertisement, no kind of anything distracting from the outfit. They're just a plain base. They fit great. Um, they have a lot of different washes. I love the dark wash. It just elevates your outfit a little bit more, I think. So an outfit option from what I've shown today would be these, this New York t-shirt and the cardigan. So once again, like everything's interchangeable. And also a black pair of jeans. So you need a dark denim pair of jeans and a black pair of jeans. Black jeans are great for the office. So today I have on, I don't know if y'all can see. I'll stand back. Black jeans today. These are from American Eagle. But these are from Express. I love Express jeans. And I just think these. As you can see, like it's like a deep black. It's not like the washed black. It's like a black black. So these are really nice. They are the skinny high rise. I love a skinny jean. I'm sorry. I do. I just like the way it looks on my body shape, my body type. It fits me. If I wear wild leg jeans, they're going to be tight at the top and they're going to go out at the bottom. I don't like loose anything. Who wants to look bigger? I don't. So baggy, saggy, loose, not my thing. I like a tight fitting jean. I love express jeans. These are a great pair. The material is great. They have a good amount of stretch, but they don't stretch out. They fit you perfectly. But if I'm going to give you advice on to invest in a jean that always keeps its shape, that wears so good, because I've had those good American jeans for at least three or four years. I love them. I've gone up in size. I've gone down in size. They don't sag. They still contour to whatever my size is. And I haven't had to buy a new pair. I have about four or five pairs that I invested in when they first came out and everybody was talking about them. I still wear them all the time. So if you need a great jean that you want to invest in, buy a pair of Good Americans. They're on sale usually at Nordstrom Rack or at Nordstrom. You don't have to pay full price. I will find some and link them below. I cannot rave enough about them. I love them. And lastly, a slide mule or loafer. So I just recently got these. I got these Givenchy um, mules. So they're just a black leather mule. And then they have the Givenchy Paris straps. So I thought these would be cute to add to my wardrobe because last year I wore a lot of slides. I have a pair of Gucci slides. I have Everybody has like the Nike or Adidas slides. I have a couple from ASOS, but I wanted to elevate a little bit more this year. I'm still going to wear the sides, but I felt like I needed something else. So I'm adding, I added these and these are a black leather mule from Givenchy just with the strap. This is Givenchy in the back. They're really, really cute. So yeah, I got these pre-loved and yeah, I paid way under retail for them and I really do like them. Um, they were barely never really worn, as you can see, like they're really good quality, so that's what I added. So you don't have to get these exact shoes, but you can. You need some kind of mule, some kind of mule, some sort of slide, but an elevated one. Even if it's not real leather, just get like, I'll link some below. Target has some cute ones. I saw some from Vince Camuto or Nordstrom Rack. I'll link those below. They have snake print ones, black. They have brown. So a mule, a loafer, some kind of elevated slide because these can transition with any of those outfit pieces that I have over there. So you can wear these with leggings, you can wear these with, so I can wear a t-shirt, leggings, and these. Or you can wear these with um, jeans, you can wear them with shorts. So many options. So lastly, I would say a loafer, mule, or slide. So a different type that you wore, than you wore last year because these are all like transitioning or leveling up your wardrobe for spring from transitioning to winter. I hope that my ideas helped you guys and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I wanna do more of these styling videos because I do have a lot of ideas. I like clothes and I like putting them together. And so, yeah, so I'm gonna do a lot more of these on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below if you did like the video 
If you need something, me to find something in particular, put that below and I'll be glad to go find it. And I'll link it on my like to know it for y'all. And that's it. So I hope you guys a uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.